closer we get, the more these readings resemble human brainwaves. Whatever it is, these radiation lights are building rapidly. It would be dangerous to get any closer. Maybe we won't have to. Let's see what Lindsay's doing. Lindsay, this is Nelson. You located the source of that radiation yet? It's unbelievable. Hard to believe something like this caused a thousand mile communication blackout. Captain, the hull's getting pretty hot from that radiation. All stop. Neutral buoyancy. Aye, sir. Well, what does it seem to be, Lindsay? Stone. It's in two segments. Almost like a human brain. Does it seem to be floating or is it uh, connected to the rock? Can't tell. I'm going to hit it with the laser beam to see what response we get in radiation level. Start back. Shark is checking it now. But we should have power in a few minutes. Good, good. That rock form out there is still active. It's too active for my taste. Whatever it hit us with packs a real wallop. But it didn't kill Lindsay. He's still alive? Yeah, please bring him on board now. Missile room to Admiral. Captain Crane is approaching the entry hatch. I'll be right there. Sick no, not now. We have to bring that rock aboard. Admiral, that creature is a life form. It's alive. It's something no man has ever seen before. It's also something that almost killed you and nearly destroyed Sea View and everyone aboard. Because I hit it with a laser beam. I had no idea it was alive. But now that we know, we can and must bring it aboard for study. I'll think about it. 
Uh, get to sick bay and have the doctor check you out. You're not going to bring that rock aboard, are you? Look, we're here investigating a communications blackout for the Navy. If that rock is the cause, we have to find out how and why. But we've already seen how dangerous it is. Why don't we just destroy it? Because if it turns out to be a form of life, it could be a phenomenal discovery. But how could we possibly... And if it's a life form, we can control it with drugs. Then we'll build some kind of shielding against the radiation. Meanwhile, let's check our instrumentation, see how our friend is doing out there. See to it, you're brought aboard the Sevier. Now. If they refuse. You will bring me aboard. I order it. to human brainwave patterns too close. <laughs> Besides, there's just no other way of recording an electrical radiation pattern like this. Could be a separate Earth evolutionary line or, uh, or maybe something from another world, out of space. Well, whatever it is, it's deadly. There may be more of those out there. We should know something about them. Admiral? Lindsay, you're supposed to be in sick bay. The doctor gave me a clean bill of health. Give me three men and the necessary equipment and I'll have that creature aboard in two hours. Not without some protection against its radiation. We can devise some sort of shielding. Magnetic force would do it. Besides, you have the necessary units. The magnetic fields we were testing on our way here. Might work at that. Lee? I'll organize it for you. The radiation level is dropping. There's really no danger.
almost dormant again. That's the electromagnetic shielding. Watch what happens when I cut the power of the shield. The radiation increases sharply. They'll have to find some way of grounding its energy. Now, let's have those meter readings. Uh, 30 degrees. 1,500 ohms. 30 degree oscillation, 8,527 volts. Salinity factor, 24. Electrical peaking wattage, 240. Temperature reaching plateau of 99 degrees. I'm sorry. Now look at this. The last bit of tape on the encephalograph it shows sudden activity. It's almost as though it attacked deliberately. Well, it obviously has a large energy content, but it certainly isn't strong enough to be a danger. I'm not so sure. I'm going to put everything we know about this creature into the computer. Don't call it that, Admiral. Why not? Because it's an intelligent being. You should know that. You feeling all right, Lindsay? What do you mean by that? Well, you've had a pretty rough time out there. Maybe you better check back into sick bay and have the doctor... There's nothing wrong with me, Nelson. Why don't you just go back to running this boat and let me handle these tests? Right now, I don't think you're capable of handling them. You forget I'm aboard because there's a radioactive communication blackout in this area. The Navy put me here because I'm a specialist in electronic energy. There's no one more capable than I of... I'm sorry, Admiral. Please accept my apologies. The, the excitement of this, this discovery and, and the shock I had. For a moment or two, I forgot myself. Well, it's understandable, but it's all the more reason why you should check back with the doctor. You're right. And I will just as soon as I double-check the environmental controls we've established. It's all right, Admiral. I'm fine now. Why don't you process the data? I'll join you after I've seen the doctor. All right, Lindsay. You almost made a very bad mistake. You will have to do better in the future. You must be more efficient less emotional. I will try. And after all, I did get you aboard. Yes, but I must control the crew. Every man on board must be my slave, as you are my slave. With enough knowledge and energy and the sea view as my body, I can do anything. Turn down the magnetic shield so that I may start to take over the sea view. you now in your body? It soon will be. But there is more I want. What? In time, there shall be others like me. And then man will live to serve us. And only to serve us. I grow in power all the time. Feel my power. Listen and remember. You will do as I order. You will not fail. This ship will be my body. 
and every man on board will be my slave. steam coming up from the ocean floor is practically stopped. And the uh, water temperature has been dropping ever since we took that creature aboard. Other things have changed, too. You mean Lindsay? It worries me. Despite what the doctor says, I'm not sure he's really recovered. No, I know what you mean. His, uh, his walk, his manner of talking. He doesn't seem like the same man, does he? He's completely lost his scientific detachment. I'm not sure that uh, we can depend on his judgment about that thing in the lab. Do you, uh, still think it came from another planet? Good, huh? That's why I want a team of divers ready to go to the pit tomorrow morning. I'll set it up. Now, uh, what do you want them to do? Uh, take photographs of the entire ocean floor around it. Make a careful chemical analysis of the water and the rock and search for, uh, well, some kind of a vehicle. And consider it done. <laughs> but, you know, I'm not really sure... You heard that? Yes. The brain? Could have. Maybe telepathic. Perhaps it sent out a thought probe. If it has that power, if it did come from another planet... That's right, Lee. It could be the most important, as well as the most dangerous thing on Earth. there is in the computer banks. You will turn them on so I can drain them of all information. Then the sea view will be mine. We'll be men on watch. If so, you will dispose of them. Go. How will you make contact? Through you, my energy probe will allow me to contact the computer. flashlight battery, sir. It's worse. The tape's a blank. Every bit of information stored in these computer banks is gone. There's no way to do that. Not the way it's engineered. Well, I know, I know, but it's still true. Jeff, what's the report from the secretary room? Something wrong down there? Gee, come on. <laughs> Get him sick there. You bet, sir. You'll be all right. Any idea what caused it, Doc? Seems to me no doubt it was electrical shock. The burns on the clothing and his back, the traumatic condition, are all indicative. I'll give him some sedation. Good night's sleep, and he'll be back on active duty in the morning.
something wrong, Admiral? No, no, I suddenly realized they had a blinding headache. You were not seen? I don't think so. I had a little difficulty with Commander Morton, but I'm sure he didn't see me. You did well. You got what you wanted from the computer? Yes, I have all the information I need to operate my new body. This thing of titanium you humans call a boat, a submarine. Then you're finished with me. No. Until I can build up my energy potential, I need the assistance of a human who also knows everything about this boat. Well, I don't know anything about that. But there is someone aboard who does. And having just probed Nelson's mind, I know what man I want. Captain Crane. Well, what's that got to do with me? You will bring him here to me. No! You will do as I wish immediately, or you shall be destroyed. Now go. scuttlebutt that a special research team is going out in the morning. Now, that's right. Mostly uh, photographic and chemical experts. I've prepared some special instrumentation. Maybe you'd like to uh, check it out with me. Oh, I'd be glad to when this watch is over. Well, go ahead, Lee. I'll take the car over. All right, let's go. Uh, Lindsay, how's that thing behaving? It's quiet now, Admiral. The magnetic shielding has it entirely in check. If there's any change, you'll let me know at once. Of course. <laughs> Check the instruments for yourself. He will be the second one to serve me. He can't hear me. Not unless I wish it can I be heard. Everything seems to be holding. There's no way for his powers to pass beyond the magnetic shielding. Take my word for it, Captain. source shall be. I will make contact with the nuclear reactor. Why the reactor? For energy. If I use the reactor properly, my energy source will be unlimited. Well, I can't help you with that. Why don't you release me? I told you I still had use for you. You have all the power you want. I brought Crane to you. There's nothing more I can do to help. Enough, or I will dispose of you right now. Now stand away from me. I am not certain how much of my energy corona a human can stand. You destroy us! I feel the energy. It's swelling within me. Power will be mine. Power will be mine. <laughs>
the slave, and I am the master. Yes. You will now be able to hear me, and I will be able to read every single thought in your mind whenever I wish. I'll do what you want. It is now my wish to leave here. You will see to it that the sea view gets underway in the morning. Yes. I still don't know what happened to me last night, sir. I ran into the circuitry room and was testing some switches and then suddenly everything blanked out. Well, probably an accidental contact. Fortunately, it wasn't any worse, Jeff. What's going on here, Admiral? I'm still working on the repairs. Shouldn't be too long, huh? No, we'll make the repairs underway. <laughs> underway? But we're not nearly through with our research here. After what's happened, we're more than through. We're putting back to Santa Barbara immediately. I easily, easy if there wasn't any serious damage. And we have an exploration party going out in a couple of hours. We'll lay it. A clear and present danger to the crew in the sea view exists in this area. Prepare to get underway. Course 280, depth 100 feet. Aye, aye, sir. Two eighty won't take us back to Santa Barbara, sir. We'll be heading toward Australia. Yeah, I know. Set the heading. Build up has doubled since we brought that thing aboard. When I hit it with the laser beam, it must have been dormant. Since then, it's become, well, for want of a better word, conscious, alive, ever growing. Energy would naturally build up. Increase the strength of the magnetic shielding. Well, I hardly think that's necessary, Admiral. Increase it, Lindsay. Double the output. And keep it that way. Under no circumstances let that intelligence regain power. This is Chief Sharkey, Admiral. Could you come to the reactor room right away? Turn the shielding down again. Turn it down. No, I'm not going to do it. You think you can defy me? I'm through obeying your commands. You're dangerous, evil. All you want to do is destroy. I'm going to turn up the shielding and destroy you. <laughs> Captain, what's the trouble in the reactor room? We've got a power loss and can't figure it out, sir. How much? About 15% and falling slowly. I'll be right down. And I've had to step up the output over 15% just to keep the power loss down. Yes, sir. Uh-huh. Well, you know, that uh, the power just doesn't uh, disappear in the thin air. Uh, no, sir. Oh, it's... Uh, it's going somewhere, Chief. Yes, sir, I would say so, sir, yes, sir. Any idea where? No, sir. Hmm. Well, to tell you the truth, since this thing flipped its wig last night, I haven't been able to figure out a thing about it. What's the trouble? 15% uh, loss of reactor power and no clue. We can live with 15% loss? Of course we can, but the loss is increasing. If it continues this way, we'll soon reach the point where we can't live with it. Then we'll have to compensate. Chief, build the reactor output and keep building it to hold power. That's uh, tricky, Captain, and dangerous. That's an order. Yes, sir. I'll check out the control room, Chief. You let me know if you find anything here. Aye, aye, sir. Uh, Chief, uh, before you... Uh, before you notify the Admiral, 
Let me know what you find out. I think we got it. But it sure beats me as to what happened here when Commander Morton got knocked down. I think we better double check. Patterson, this is the Admiral. How are you doing with the repairs? Well, so far, everything's checking A-OK, -okay, sir. You better check your power source, Patterson. We're getting a loss in the reactor room. Aye, sir. Keep your eye on the voltage flow from the reactors. I'm going to check back through the power lines. OK, Pat. Hey, pretty fast trip, Pat. I said that was a pretty fast... Hey, what gives? Hey, this is no time for games, Pat. You better start checking the power flow like the Admiral said. We're going to be here all night. Change five degrees to 285. Five degrees to 285. There's no response to help. Test it yourself, Jeff. I think she won't respond. We'll try the planes. No response to planes control either. And she's holding steady and true at a depth of 100 feet on course 280. Yes, sir. All right, Chip. Come forward with me. Why do you think the controls don't respond? It might be caused by the power loss. But I believe it's something else. I, uh, I think Seaview has been taken over. Taken over? Now, think about it, Chip. The damage we suffered in the pit area, your uh, so-called accident in the circuitry room, Computer tapes wiped clear. Loss of reactive power. Controls completely malfunctioning. It builds up to a pretty strong case, but there's more. Lindsay? Crane. Well, they're not acting normally, if that's what you mean. But maybe the strain we've all not been on. when you tie it in with the rest. They've been taken over, too. You're talking about that creature that we have on board. That's right. Now, Lindsay says it's pure intelligence, and I think he's right. It's more powerful, more dangerous intelligence than you and I could ever dream of. What are we going to do about it? There may be a way of short-circuiting its power. I'm going to work on that. Meanwhile, you pass the word quietly to the crew to stay away from portside corridor B and away from the lab. Kowalski, come along. We've got some work to do in the machine shop. Yes, sir. Admiral Nelson is moving against me. He must be destroyed. Which one of us is to kill him? Lindsay, you will do it at once. What do you want me to do? Lindsay is weak, not strong like you. If he fails, you will see to it that the Admiral dies. It'll be done.
journalist to Lindsay to his cabin and lock him in. Post yourself on guard duty outside. He's not to leave there. Use any amount of force necessary to carry out your orders. Break away from him, Lindsay. What's the trouble? I thought I heard something. Look at that, it's working again. The Admiral probably repaired the power leads. Yeah, it's fine. Crane. Nelson is on his way to the observation nose. He has two devices with him. Kill Nelson and destroy the devices at once. control. How? There's time for that later. What matters now, we have a counter probe to neutralize it. Juice to power a flashlight. We'll have to build some up. Come on. I, uh, uh, you got me stumped, sir. How do we get power from this when the creature's draining it off? Pull the dampening rods. Let the reactor go critical. Well, that's like using gasoline to put out a fire. I'm hoping the extra energy will destroy it before we all go out in a nuclear blast. If it works, we may be able to get the rods back in before doomsday. The creature of blast. It's like tossing a coin. with a nuclear reactor. He's fighting me. I will show him who is master of the sea view. He must not stand in my way now. Watch the controls! The controls! Get the controls! Kowalski, turn on the counter probe! Yes, sir! Coming around. We've got to get to that creature and stop him now, Kowalski. Take the counter probe, get some men, and see if you can get into that lab. Yes, sir. All right, you, and you come with me. It's no good. 
God. There's nothing you can do before we're all destroyed. Nothing can defeat us. No human can stop us from our ultimate destiny. I still have superior means at my command. When I give the signal, open that door fast. Report. Damage control report. What happens now, sir? Captain Crane will worry about that. Let's get back to those dampening rods. I see. She's really building up, sir. So we want you to keep pulling those rods. Keep checking the radiation count. Let me know as he reaches the critical area. The door's been jammed shut. I'll get the skipper. You stay on those valves. It's the last one, sir. Boy, the way this reactor is going, it'll be blast before we stop the creature. We don't have a choice, Chief. Right now, we either destroy it or... Your attempt to take us over has already failed. Not so, Nelson. You have no longer to live than any of the others. But either of you, your ability to handle the energy is decreasing all the time. Why do you fight me? Why do you fight when you are to die? It's working, Chief. The overload's getting to him. It doesn't look too good. If we can get into the lab under cover of the protective screen, we may be able to stop it in time. Kowalski already tried that. The hatchway's jammed tight. All right, we'll cut our way in. You take it for here, Lee. Come on, we got some work to do. Aye, aye, sir. Lindsay, you must stop this flow of energy. I can't stop the reactor now. They pull the dampening rods. In a matter of minutes, your reactor will go critical and there'll be an atomic blast. There'll be nothing left of you, or us, or the sea view. I can do nothing. I will not be defeated. We were created to rule. No living creature in the universe has ever stood in our way. The galaxies have bowed their heads to us. There cannot, there must not be defeat. You will all die in agony. Die. <laughs> Let's hope this will protect us long enough to get to the ejection switch. We gotta blow that thing out of the sub. Nice. Right, get down. Try to hold him with this. Ice the switch. Gun. 
Come on, Chief. <coughs> Sir? Just, yeah. just a thought. What happens if we can't get underway? We have to get underway. There's enough energy stored in that to blow the CV to bits. Lane, put the rods back in. If we the creature, now get underway fast. You heard him. Go ahead. Engineering, stand by to get underway. Aye, sir. Standing by to answer bells. How does it look, Skipper? Still at critical mass. The reaction could go chained at any minute. Yet, sir, the reactor's still out. Lee, what's happening? It's not falling, Admiral. It's just holding it critical. That's no good. We've got to get out of here before that thing blows sky high. But it could hold this way for hours. A blow at any second. <laughs> Look. Push the reactor to full emergency. Hold for five seconds, then bring her back. Could be suicide, Skipper. One, two, three, four, five. It's working. All ahead full, up 10 degrees on the plane. Contact, sir. Must have been totally destroyed. We're at cruising speed. Depth 200. Uh-huh. Let's go home. <laughs> we, we had a busy day. <laughs> <laughs> 